What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Rad and Dad channel video, or welcome if it's your first time. Either way, very glad to have you. Finally getting the swing of things back in the hand of... Well, apparently, I am not. Finally getting the hang of things, back in the swing of things here, doing videos every week again and being able to record every week. Let's roll the intro, and then as soon as we come back, we're going to talk about if I regret training in my brand new, at the time when I got it, Lowrider S, for this 10-year-old Sportster behind me. Alright, so I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Now that I've gotten several hundred miles, I'm right around the thousand mile mark with this bike. Um, I haven't gotten to ride it as much as I would like to, uh, and now I definitely won't with the weather getting hotter and rainier and crap. Um, but I haven't gotten to ride it as much as I would have liked to, but I have gotten to ride it enough where I can make this determination and share it with you guys. Uh, so since I sold the Lowrider S that I had was an M8 Softail, for those of you unfamiliar with it, and I got this 2013 uh, Sportster XL883 Super Low, I have had so many people message. I've had some people giving me a little bit of crap for it, but not that money. Um, I've also had some people being like, hell yeah, man, I sold my whatever twin or, uh, you know, twin cam or M8 and I downgraded, you know, I say downgraded because it's a cheaper bike, but it's, it's just switching bikes. Uh, but you know, but I switched to a sports and I've been loving it ever since best decision I ever made. Um, and then I've had a lot of people, the majority of people just asking why, like, Hey, well, is something wrong with the bike? Did you have to? No, I didn't. I wasn't like I was going homeless and I needed cash immediately. Um, I did use the cash difference because my bike was paid off. I did use that cash difference for, you know, some stuff paying off some stuff that we had um, and things that I needed to take care of. But uh, I could have done it without that. It wasn't like I wasn't a dire, you know, I either sell the bike or I'm homeless or whatever. Um, my wife wasn't asking me to sell it. She was asking me, urging me to be cautious. I was debating on selling that bike for about a year. Uh, I did. I know there was more stuff I could do, but for for my want out of a bike build, bike build short of doing a custom paint job, I did everything that I wanted to do to that bike. And those of you who are like me understand what it's like when you're done with the project, you're like, yeah, it's cool riding it and stuff, but like half the fun is doing that actual project. And this bike is a hell of a project. It's got so many things that I still need to and want to do to it. A lot of stuff I'm forcing myself to wait um, until we get back in the house, which is hopefully gonna be somewhere soon. Um, I have some videos on that if you guys are not understanding, but uh, had some house issues that were just waiting to get 100% fixed. Um, but hopefully when we're back in the house, I'll have my lift back, like my full motorcycle lift. Um, then I want to do a chain kit, a 1200 uh, hooligan kit from SNS complete with cams, put a different exhaust on it. Probably not 100% sure, but probably a different two into one exhaust. Uh, do some powder coated wheels, change the tires. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to do to this bike, but I'm trying to force myself to wait until I'm back and I have the actual lift because that's the whole reason I bought the lift and I got it after I did all the stuff with the M8 Softail and for me for me to do all that stuff to this bike and not have the lift after I already bought it it's just depressing so I'm trying to force myself to wait also it's going to you know space these things out and give myself some more time to save up for some better stuff and be able to take some trips with the family and stuff that we've been doing but anyway the reason why you guys are clicking on this video is to see if I regret selling my Softail and it's a 20, it was almost a $20,000 bike pretty much when I got it. I put several thousand dollars of work into it and several thousand hours of my personal time building out that bike to get a used bike that's now 11 years old. When I got it, it was 10 years old. Uh, so, and it's a 883, the smaller of the two Sportsters. And I had a 114 cubic inch, the, at the time, the larger of the M8 Softails. So... Do I regret it? Not for a second. The Sportsters are super fun bikes. The fact that stuff is more readily available for them, granted the M8 Softails, there's, our, there's a ton of stuff right now for them. But the Softails, there's been stuff for, for years and years and years with them. Um, they're just super small, lightweight bikes. I mean, originally when I was doing this, I was turning into a 14 inch Apes with, you know, kind of a cruiser style. And now I'm almost to, I'm kind of like, I'm, I wouldn't say full club style, but naked front end, tracker style bars, which we're gonna switch, same style, but <clears throat> slightly different sizing um, and a better quality bar now that I know I wanna keep this style bar on there. Uh, I mean, st the sky's the limit with this. Now it's become kind of a sportish bike. I even debated doing uh, clamp on handlebars for it and making it like a full sport style bike. 
but uh, obviously we're not doing that. The Sportsters, you can do anything on them. Um, the guys that talk crap about Sportsters have never ridden a Sportster. I highly doubt, and if they have, they have they don't. All they do is highway miles because highway miles, yeah, there's no secret. The Sportster is not the best bike for that, um, especially the 883, the 1200. All day you could do that no problem um, but in the 883 stock configuration one less gear yeah one less gear than you know some of the touring style bikes and the soft tails you just can't now could you do it yeah but you can't do it as comfortable and as uh nicely as you could a soft tail or even some of the twin cams like the dinas or something like that they're just bigger bikes they're they're made for crushing miles a little bit better now there's tons of stuff you could do to this bike if i really wanted to i could put a chain kit with super low gearing and just crush highway miles, my RPMs would be low. Uh, I wouldn't have as much torque off the line and acceleration, which is not my style, but if that's something you wanna do and you just wanna cruise, by all means, you could do that. In a stock configuration with an 883, I can slap the same chain kit I did on my other Sportster and just tall as hell gearing and be able to rip, uh, you know, clutch up wheelies, no problem. If you're into stunt riding, you can drift and stuff. I mean, there's no issue doing that. Uh, the chain kit with the taller or shorter uh, gearing on it just makes a huge difference, even with the 883 engine. Uh, for $1,000, put a 1200 kit on it, and you're better off than you were if you got a 1200 Sportster to begin with. There's so much stuff you can do with the Sportster. It's comfortable for me. I'm smaller to begin with. I'm 5'8". My license says 5'8". I feel like in my older years, I'm shrinking, and I'm probably 5'7", realistically. Um, but uh, I'm a shorter person. The Sportster frame makes sense for me. It's it's just even raising it with better suspension and stuff. I'm still gonna be able to flat foot it very comfortably. I don't have to worry about you know tipping it left and right during traffic or anything like that. I have stoplight you know during traffic. The bikes just feel weight. They feel super nimble. There's a million things you can do with it. I really really like the Sportster. Um, plus the fact that it's a new bike build and stuff tends to be a little bit cheaper for the Sportster. One, because it's been out for 10, 15, 20 years, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, and two, because the stuff's a little bit smaller, it's lighter weight. Uh, the wheels are smaller, the tires are smaller a little bit. Um, just stuff like that is a little bit smaller than the soft tails. It weighs a couple hundred pounds less, so stuff doesn't have to be um, to the same dimensions and everything. It's just a great bike all around. I really love it. I think potentially this has converted me to a Sportster guy. Uh, ideally I would love to have like six or seven different sportsters turn one into uh, like a dual purpose, like dirt bike style build kind of thing. Um, one into like a, just a, a chrome hardtail chopper or bobber kind of thing like that. I think that'd be cool. Um, have another one even more so than this go full club style kind of thing with it. Um, I think there's sky's the limit with sportster. They're great bikes. Long story short, I do not, uh, regret trading my M8 Softail for this bike at all. In fact, I would recommend it uh, to you guys as well if you're someone that likes the same style of riding as I do and doesn't just want to crush straight miles down the highway. If you actually like, you know, throwing it around and going through curves and just being an aggressive rider and having more fun with it, which to me is what the whole fun of motorcycle riding is, do it. Try it to a Sportster, you wouldn't regret it. There's so many things you could do to it. They're super fun bikes. The Evo platform for the engines are tried and true very easily fixed, super reliable. Most would argue that the Evos are some of the most reliable engines uh, and definitely in their opinion, and I'm getting there, um, more reliable than the M8 platform. They're just great engines. Can't can't tell you enough good things about Sportsters. They're great. So if you have never ridden a Sportster, go out and try to ride one. Go test ride a used one, not the new ones with the Evolution, uh, or whatever it's called, uh, or RevMax, whatever whatever the new engine is that's all fancy and liquid cool from Harley that they're putting in the Sportsters, uh, don't do that. Ride an old school Evo engine and there's just nothing like it. It's got more soul for those of you, what, uh, what zombie baffles can I put in my tab performance slip-ons with my, uh, what's, the, what's the header people? My stock decatted header, what, which, which combination can I put on my all black street glide to make it sound like my uh, twin can Dyna that I used to have, you know, oh, back when uh, I was a real man, because the, the MH just don't sound like a real man's bike. The Evo engine. That's the answer. Thank you guys very much for watching. Until the next time, ride safe, have fun. Dad out.